Day 18, m 0 Nation, showing you a complete Class Delta departure with VFR flight following and grabbing VFR flight following here on the ground, hopefully, in theory, from the Delta. Use caution for bird and wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Ground control and clearance delivery are combined on frequency 121.6. Advise on initial contact, you have Tango. We have Tango. Tango. Let me get to Ocala, where I'm heading to, queued up here, and we will roll. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask for VFR flight following right here with ground on the ground. You can do this at some deltas, all Charlies, all Bravos. But it's some deltas. Some deltas can, some deltas cannot. I, I have personally found, maybe there's a great controller out there watching that can help me figure out as to why. But I've noticed at a place like Ocala that actually doesn't have a radar, class delta, but no radar, I can't do that. They can't provide those same radar services. At a place like Naples, where I'm at now, they do have a radar, and I've done this in the past with them. So let's go ahead and let's ask together here. He's grabbing an IFR clearance. on request. And number 815, Mike Charlie, departure frequency 12, correction 124.12, and squawk 1130. Okay, 1130, 124.12, 15, Mike Charlie. Naples Ground, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. Number 23, Mike Zulu, Naples Ground, stand by. We're getting ready to switch out controllers. Well, I guess we're standing by. Two three Mike Zulu ground. Afternoon, Naples Ground. Two three Mike Zulu's at Rex Air with Tango. We're VFR to Oscar Charlie Foxtrot. Hope he can set us up with a VFR flight following at four thousand five hundred. For two three Mike Zulu, I'll start working on that. Are you guys ready to taxi? And we're ready to taxi now from Rex Air. Two three Mike Zulu, runway five at Delta One intersection. Taxi Bravo Delta cross runway one four. All right, we're going to five at Delta One, Bravo, Delta, cross one four, two three, Mike Zulu. Let's get our taxiway diagram out. Here we go. All right, here's Bravo. Always thinking ahead, right? Number nine two zero off Charlie Ground Runway five taxi via I'm Alta, thinking I'm being quiet on purpose here for an, just a second. Not only for the taxi, but he's going to be coming back to me with a squat code and a frequency. Two three Mike Zulu, I have all the numbers for you if you're ready to copy. And two three Mike Zulu is ready to copy. Two three Mike Zulu, squawk five seven four three, and the Fort Myers departure frequency is one two four point one two. All right, we're squawking five seven four three and one two four point one two for two three Mike Zulu. Your Mike Zulu, all correct. Center 918. Uh, I'm on Bravo. Tango. Here's Delta. Center this is where I cross 1 4. He said Bravo, Delta, cross 1 4. I'm heading to 5, 5 to my right. I know that because I have 2 3 here, 5 there. 5 is this direction on that sign. Bravo 1, Bravo short of Alpha, Bravo short of Alpha Jet Center 918. I know he cleared me across 1 4, but I'm still double checking. Life looks good. So now I've got Fort Myers approach, departure, whatever you want to call them. It's going to be the same person. I've got Fort Myers knowing I'm coming, waiting for me, and knowing I'm going to Ocala. It looks like I've got a very long taxi ahead of me now. Down Delta, all the way to Delta 1. And again, I've already briefed this on the ground. I've been to the Naples airport a few times, know my way around a little bit here. That's all good. On this long, straight taxi, I'm going to use that to configure everything up. Notice, too, I always keep the scratch pad kind of loaded and ready to go here on the iPad, so it's always ready. 5743. 5743. Can you see why two pilots are so helpful? We expect flight level 400 within 10 minutes. Departure frequency 124.12, squawk 7156. Oh, All right, I have multiple people talking at once. All right, switching to the tower because the crowd's just getting busy, and I'm right here at the end. I'm going to do my run up, and then at my run up, I'm also going to get my next frequency ready as well. Checklist here, ready to go.
Okay, A15, Mike Charlie, uh, Naples Tower, runway 5, cleared for takeoff. Would that be a left right, turn out or a right turn out right right for your up, destination? Left side down, left side up, right side down, five, be a full back, turnout, full uh, forward, uh, wagon our tail. Mike Charlie, turn everything else looking good. Mixture's coming right, right. Uh, lights all on, circuit breakers, and fuel selector balance to both. A15, Mike Charlie, Roger, thank you. 1700 RPMs. Check my mags. Left side. Back to both. Right side, great drops. Back to both. Carburetor heat, engine instruments, green, green. Life's looking good. A nice smooth idle check. Excellent. That's coming off. All right, I'm squawking 5743. I'm getting departure always. Okay, 352 short approach proof, runway 5 ahead. cleared to land. Windsor 70012. I've got Fort Myers Clear approach there. Five, five, two, three, five, two. All that is set. I'm going to bug my altitude for 4,500 feet. And what you don't realize, if you're just a private pilot, this is getting you ready for instrument pilot. This is like instrument pilot light right now, it's going to feel like. I'm going to leave my door open. I know it seems crazy, but this is Florida. And I know you're saying it's the winter time, Jason. Well, it's still Florida. South Florida in this case. Seatbelt's good. Everything's secure. Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu 5, Delta 1, ready for departure. Could get Number five, Mike Charlie, uh, contact Fort Myers departure. I'm ready for a heading out of here, typically, as well. Number two, three, Mike Zulu, Naples Tower, hold short, runway five at Delta One. Holding short five at Delta One, two, three, Mike Zulu. Over mm. departure, five, Mike Charlie. Jet Center 918 is ready at five. Just a 352 left on Charlie and ground point six. Left on Charlie, ground point six, five two three five two, thank you. Welcome. Number two three Mike Zulu, turn left on course, runway five at Delta One, clear toward takeoff. Request no delay, please. No delay, and that's a left on course, clear for takeoff five. Thanks to the Mike Zulu. Didn't need to read back the no delay, by the way. I was just being polite. Final looks clear. Don't let the pressures of the controller get to you sometimes. If you don't feel like you can accept a no delay, Tell them I'll wait my turn. Airspeed's alive. Engine gauges. Green, green, green over here. 65 rotate. She's flying. All right, what am I waiting for next? I'm gonna get told to contact approach. And by the way, I was told left turn on course. So here we go. Number two, three, Mike Zulu, uh, left on course and contact Fort Myers, departure, good day. Left on course, over to departure, thanks, two, three, Mike Zulu. Flip flopping over, on course climbing. Uh, one, two, six, I'm going to check eight, in uh, with one, two, nine, my altitude eight. climbing two. Or climbing, I'm sorry, don't say the two, climbing blank. 600 climbing 4,500. Don't say 700 climbing to 4,500. Don't add two, because it could be T-O, T-O-O, T-W-O, right? You don't want to confuse them. So let's practice. I'm on Fort Myers. I'm probably going to get told to ident, so get ready for that. Fort Myers, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, 900 climbing 4,500. Just wait. I'm probably going to get told to I can't. Uh, Colin Fagan. Oh, Skyhawk 2-3 Mike Zulu, 1,000, climbing, 4,500. 2-3 Mike Zulu, 4 miles apart for the contact, climb to your VFR requested altitude, flatting 320 for the climb. 320 for the climb, up to 4,500, thanks, 2-3 Mike Zulu. He wants me on a 320 for the climb, so I'm going to head that way, no problem. 320 for the climb, out towards the coast and then climbing up to my 4,500. Sometimes they'll give you an ident there as well. Notice I didn't say with you, you'll hear that a lot. It's not wrong, it's just, it's extra words that don't need to be added to there. 1,400 climbing, 4,500 to where I am going to, right? That's what we're looking to let them know. You know, radio communications are all about really thinking ahead. And we're gonna talk more about this. We're gonna talk, I'm doing IFR radio communications tomorrow. 
spoiler alert, right? And then I am doing, the day after that, I'm doing VFR flight following specifically. Not grabbing it on the ground, grabbing it in the air. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. Listen, I hope you are absolutely loving this 31-day Safer Pilot Challenge. Just getting so much out of it. If you love these free videos, man, you're going to love the videos inside our online ground school. Come see the new M0A and see by the best it's getting better. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, take a trial of it. M0Atrial.com. Have an amazing, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you. Hey, Jason, again, I hope you're loving this 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. And I know you already love our three amazing check ride books. Did you know they're also all available on Audible and anywhere you can find an audiobook as well? I actually read the question to you, pause for a second, let you think of the correct answer, and then I tell you the correct answer thereafter. It's basically two, three hours of a mock check ride that you can listen to over and over while you're walking the dog, while you're driving the car, while you're at the gym, whatever that may be for you to continue to immerse yourself in aviation and those audiobooks are all available to you on audible on itunes audiobooks.com anywhere you can download an audiobook